guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm doing a slight get ready with me using the new Urban Decay Fall 2016 collection. They've released a brand new foundation within this collection, the All Nighter Foundation. I'm sure a ton of you guys have already seen it. Uh, a few naked skin under eye correctors, a ton of really colorful uh, liners, and then they came out with a brand new eyeshadow palette. So I'm just, I'm just going to be honest, I sat down and just played with this collection in this video so uh, it's not like your traditional get ready with me I'm literally just brainstorming with these products and this is the look that I came up with I wanted to use some color on the eyes uh, because this palette is pretty colorful so if you are interested in checking out this collection and seeing the look that I created with it then just keep on watching I'm going to start out by priming. I'm going to use my Makeup Forever Nourishing Primer because the All Nighter Foundation is extremely matte and extremely full coverage. So I feel like I need to use something that's at least a little hydrating underneath this foundation for it to work for me. Uh, I have used it once before. I used it last week when I first got it in, but I had to mix the Urban Decay One and Done with it because the shade was too light for me. Uh, so I'm just going to use this primer to prep my skin. Alright, so moving into what I would consider to be the most exciting product from this launch, the All Nighter Foundation. This is a brand new foundation formula that they have just released. I'm sure many of you guys have already seen it on social media. When I got this foundation in, I read over the info packet it came with, and Urban Decay says in that packet that this foundation has three times the amount of pigment that their Naked Skin Foundation has. I never tried the Naked Skin formula. I don't know why. I never just got around to it. Uh, but when I applied this, I've already applied it once. I just applied it once last week when I got it in. Uh, it was some serious coverage, you guys. Also, a little bit more on the matte side, uh, but I'm going to give it another try today. I'm going to apply one side with a brush, one side with a beauty blender. I feel like because this is a heavier formula, I may like the beauty blender a little bit better. I'm just going to start out with one pump because... Seriously, that's kind of how heavy this stuff was. Uh, this color is probably going to show up a little light on me. The darkest color they sent me was 3.25. Uh, and it, it definitely is a little bit on the lighter side. I'm actually going to start out with my Beauty Blender. And I'm just going to pick up like half of that dot. And I'm just going to start stippling it all over. Um, but yeah, I am just literally... Oh my gosh, this coverage is like, do you already see it? It's, it's, it's definitely heavier than what I'm used to, uh, but I will say on the day that I did wear it um, for a matte foundation, it actually wore really nicely on my skin. Uh, so I was, I was pleased with it, but I definitely want to give it another try and I will definitely be keeping you guys updated on how I feel about it. Um, I just wanted to do this video just to share, you know, the overall collection with you guys to see if you are interested in it. But do you see how quick, I mean, this, this is some serious stuff. And normally I don't like using foundations uh, with my Beauty Blender because I do feel like it makes foundations appear a little bit more sheer. But since this formula is so full coverage, it's like, I, I don't mind it, to be honest. I'm going to apply a little bit more around uh, my under eye area just to conceal my freckles a little bit. Since this is a fuller coverage foundation, might as well just wear it full coverage. Uh, but I feel like I'm not going to need as much product on this side of my face with uh, using the brush because I always feel like brushes do give a fuller coverage. This is just it's very unreal to just look at the coverage on this right now and honestly I don't even feel like I need to set my face like I don't really see any shine coming off of the foundation it doesn't feel drying on my skin though it actually feels very comfortable uh, so for a format foundation it's doing pretty good so I'm gonna apply uh, one side with my IT Cosmetics brush I'm just gonna tap that into my skin we'll see how that goes I think I used a brush with this for the first time I used it. So 
this is it. One side beauty blender, one side brush. I don't feel like, I feel like both sides look the same actually. Um, what the hell? I had an eyelash on my face. Um, but I feel like both sides are very similar. I didn't find the foundation to streak at all with the brush. And I don't know, I almost feel like I do like the Beauty Blender application better with this foundation. Uh, just because it does, I don't know, they look very similar when I look at them. But something about the Beauty Blender, I really like the application method of it. Uh, but either way, both very similar. Both very full coverage, very similar. I like it. Alright, so Urban Decay also came out with five Naked Skin Correctors. These are very similar in packaging to the Naked Skin Concealers. Uh, and there are five shades. you got Lavender, Green, Peach, uh, Yellow, and Pink. So I have tried the Yellow Corrector. And uh, what I've basically been using this as is an under eye brightener. Uh, the yellow and pink really remind me a lot of Max Prep and Prime pens and Radiant Rose and Light Boost. But what I've been doing with the yellow is after I've applied my concealer and foundation and even my powder, if I feel like my under eye area needs a little bit of added brightness, I'll add a few dots of this. And it does add some brightness to my under eye area. But what I think I'm going to do today is actually try out the pink. I want to see if it's anything like the Radiant Rose uh, Prep and Prime Highlighter, which I absolutely love. And I'm just going to mix it with my concealer. And I'm going to be using the shade, I think, Light Neutral. Oh, this may be a little bit too dark. Hold on. Just kidding. I'm going to mix Light Neutral and Fair together because I feel like I'm definitely in between shades right now. I tried to shed off all of my self tan just so I could do this video for you guys and show you uh, the foundation. So I'm going to mix light neutral and fair together and hopefully get a decent color. And then I'm going to add the pink shade on top of it. never go wrong with Naked Skin Concealer. One of the best concealers on the market for sure. So now what I'm going to do is add in a little bit of the pink shade. Uh, the only difference in these uh, two products basically as far as packaging goes is that the Naked Skin Correctors have uh, a little bit more of a plastic feel to them. The caps are a lighter silver and I don't know they definitely this feels like a metal cap and this feels definitely more like a plastic cap. Uh, if anyone cares about the difference in the packaging. <laughs> That is the pink corrector mixed with the Naked Skin Concealer. I like it. I definitely feel like it's not as intense as the yellow shade. Uh, but basically, as far as the other correctors go, I don't really feel as if I need color correcting. Uh, so my friend Cassie was over yesterday and she wanted to try the peach shade for her dark circles. And this looked awesome on her. So I can vouch for the peach shade uh, because she used it yesterday and she really liked it as well. But I haven't tried the green or lavender yet uh, just because I don't really feel like they're necessary on my skin. Alright so I don't necessarily feel like I need to set my face. My face is completely dry. The only thing that I need to set is my under eye area. So I'm actually going to use my Bare Minerals Hydrating Mineral Veil. I've recently rediscovered this and I never really thought to use it for my under eye area but since it is a hydrating powder I've used it a couple times and I actually really like it. Uh, so I'm just going to use that to uh, set my under eye area and I'm not even going to touch the rest of my face. That's how dry this foundation is. I mean it's not drying as far as like the feeling but it definitely has dried down to more of a matte finish. So now I'm just going to add a little bit of my Laura Mercier Matte Baked Radiance Powder in Bronze Number 3. I have been loving this stuff. You guys have seen me apply it in like the past five videos and I'm applying that with my It Cosmetics uh, blush brush which is also a new favorite of mine. I really like this for just everyday kind of contouring. 
a uh, really nice brush. bit of Max Give Me Sun just over my cheeks to give a little bit of warmth. I feel like after my bronzer, this shade matches me pretty well right now. I don't really have a lot of self tan on. It's kind of all faded. Uh, so again, this was the shade 3.25. I thought it was going to be too light, but it actually it looks pretty good. Uh, so now for blush, I'm going to apply a little bit of Max Warm Soul. I don't want to overly blush look today, so I'm just going to apply this because this like never shows up on me that well. Does Warm Soul show up on you guys? never shows up on me so I'm just gonna use this as like a slight blush color alright so I just did my brows off camera now I'm gonna show you guys the moon dust eyeshadow palette I'm not sure if I'm gonna use I may use one shade from this palette today uh, but I really want to use the new eyeliners that they sent uh, so this is the moon dust eyeshadow palette uh, it's just like their, were there regular eyeshadows, those individuals? Weren't those called moon dust eyeshadows too? Uh, I had one called Space Cowboy. I'm pretty sure this is the same exact formula. They're just very shimmery, glittery eyeshadows. And it's really neat because, okay, if I hold the palette like this, does this shade not look orange to you guys? It looks orange. But when I like hold it up like that, it turns into a pink color. Orange. Pink orange pink it's so cool I feel like this is the only shade in here that does uh, change colors though most of the other colors are pretty uh, true to how they're showing up in the pan I've already used the shade called lithium really pretty color but I'm gonna swatch these really quickly for you guys since um, obviously I can't use every single color on my eye today uh, but I'm gonna do some swatches for you okay so these are the shades in the palette I swatched them in the most awkward way possible uh, but this one right here is called granite and then we have lithium Vega galaxy this color right here is my absolute favorite I'm pretty sure in the palette uh, specter element element is that kind of duochrome orange pink magnetic and then the last shade is called light year uh, so these are all swatched dry but you can use these shadows wet for a uh, more pigmented look I don't know what I'm gonna use today I'm definitely I'm gonna try to use a couple just to show you guys how they look but I'm not gonna use them all these are those swatches all right so these are the razor sharp liquid eyeliners this is 10 I believe of the 20 shades that are available uh, starting from the end we've got snake bite which is a bronze shade Push, which is a navy indigo color. Then the green shade is called Kush. Uh, it's a very awkward name. Uh, the white is called Bump. And then this beautiful teal color is called Deep End. The gunmetal is called Revolver. This is very similar to the color in the Moon Dust palette that I was just talking about. Uh, and it is called Fireball. Then we have Gold Rush. Uh, this one right here, what is this one called? The silver is called Cuff and the blue cobalt shade, this one's really gorgeous. This one's called Chaos and then of course we have the classic black which is called Perversion. I just tried to rub these off my hand and uh, they're not coming off so these are going to stay here I guess for the rest of the video. I can't decide if I want to wear Deep End which is the teal color or push which is kind of like the navy indigo oh they're so pretty I want to experiment with some color I feel like mm, I feel like I'm gonna go with push and then I might mix a little bit of the Vega and galaxy shade in with it we'll see how it goes all right so I actually just added a little bit of warm soul into my crease just to give it a little bit of definition now I'm gonna use push which is kind of like the navy liquid liner. I never use liquid eyeliner but I did use snake bite last week and it was pretty easy to apply. These really are sharp and they don't fray uh, so no judgment but I never wear liquid eyeliner so I'm not the best at applying it uh, but they're pretty easy.
Okay, so I'm going to show you really quickly what I just did to this eye before I do it on the other eye. I just mixed Vega and Galaxy, these two shades right here together, and I kind of just took a liner brush and went over the uh, Push eyeliner that I did and just made kind of like a glittery kind of sparkly blue liner. applied some Eyler number 126 eyelashes and now I'm going to go into my Urban Decay Vice palette and I'm going to mix the shade called Beatdown, this purple right here, um, with a little bit of this Grasshopper shade and just kind of see what we come up with and I'm going to put that on my lower lash line. I just uh, spritzed my brush with a little bit of the Urban Decay All Nighter Mist and I'm actually going to pick up Spectre which is this pink light shade and I'm going to see what this looks like on my inner corner. Might be crazy but we'll see. Alright, so on my lips, I'm going to use MAC's World Lip Liner, the new Urban Decay lipstick formula in the shade Back Talk, which is this mauve shade. And then on top of it, I'm going to use one of the old uh, naked lipsticks in the shade Native, which is a pink color. I'm going to mix those two together because I feel like this is a way too pill pink for me to wear. Uh, but I do want to mix in like a cooler tone, so I'm going to mix these two together and see how it turns out. Alright guys, so this is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and just kind of like the casual laid back brainstorming this entire uh, collection and the look that I wanted to do. I know it was uh, not like my normal get ready with me's, but I hope you enjoyed taking a little peek at the entire collection. If you have any questions for me, feel free to leave them down below and I will see y'all in my next one. Bye!